What's up y'all, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I double track an acoustic guitar. I'm just going to lay some double layer acoustics, meaning just the same take twice, wide pan, coming in this verse two. I have one acoustic guitar happening in here, but I want in the choruses and in verse two for it to really get wide, so I'm going to layer up some acoustic here. That's all that I want to get there. I want to go ahead and take one more pass of that to make sure I have something consistent to comp to. A lot of times when I know that I'm doubling acoustics, I'm not going to do a stereo mic setup. A lot of times I just want that one mono mic. In this case, in today's case, it's a, a Shure SM81. I've got it mic'd about six inches from the 12th fret. It's different for every guitar, but you gotta find that sweet spot whenever you're setting up that mono mic to make sure that you're capturing the best tone possible. Don't just you know, point it towards the 12th fret and call it a day. Mess around with that mic position and see where it sounds best on your guitar. That's all that's going on in that verse. And then towards the end of it. I go into a strum pattern. So I really dig that. So let's hop in here and see how it mixes up. So my favorite plug to go ahead and come in here and get some volume is this UA-176. This thing just sounds so good on vocals and acoustic guitars. All right, I dig that. I think these are working well together. So I'll go ahead and collapse this layer. I'll make sure that these are both wide panned. And once I get some uh, acoustics that I'm happy with, the next thing I would do is pack a folder here and I would call this acoustic bus. Then what I can do is just add a bus channel for this. Now I've got them grouped together, kind of like a, a track stack in Logic Pro X, but. Now what I can do is come in here with a Cambridge EQ, cut out these lows. Maybe give me a little top end lift. And then maybe just on this bus, add a little bit more compression. So that gets them kind of glued together there. And you know what? I'm not even looking for that gain reduction meter going. I'm just listening for the, the tone of it. And I like where it's sitting, so. I could hear it going to a little bit of delay. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have up here. Pack it hip. Take a truck, take a ship. Baby, just come back. This shortcut to the highway out of town. Why don't you take it? All right, I think these are sitting pretty good. Let me go ahead and mute that vocal. That way you can just focus on the acoustic guitar in this verse. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 
This is a perfect example of how I go about producing acoustics. Usually I like to break it up section by section and really focus in on what that section needs rather than playing one acoustic guitar from the top to the bottom of the song. I'll just only focus on the verse, then I'll move on to my chorus. But I really dig how this doubled acoustic sounds. Hey, I just wanted to take a minute and thank you for stopping by the channel. If you like what's going on here, give me a thumbs up, maybe a comment below. This channel is all about showing you guys how to record pro quality records from your home studio. So on this channel, I'm sharing all the tips and tricks I've learned along the way to make your records sound better. 